Hey everybody, Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're going to check out Deep Blue. This is a contact instrument that requires the full version of contact, so definitely keep that in mind as you watch this video. It will not work with the free contact player. So before we get started checking this one out, make sure you like the video, leave us a comment down below, let us know what you think, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell notification icon so you know when we go live with videos and great deals just like this. All right, so let's take a look at the file structure first of Deep Blue. As you notice, we have different categories here. I'm just going to close that out, so we'll start fresh with a brand new uh, instance. So I have bases only, clusters, pads, and then sequences. So let's start with pads here. You'll notice that most of these instruments, except bases only, are split on the keyboard here. As you can see, there's purple keys and blue keys. So we get those pads up there, and then we get a bass layer down there. Now, the instrument named Basses Only is, of course, only the basses, and it contains only the sounds contained in the purple keys, and it will be restricted to the lower part of your MIDI keyboard. So let's check this out. So you can hear already some of the sounds here. I want to take a look at the Mirage layer here. If we play the blue keys and the ones higher up, when you blend in the Mirage, you get an extra layer of this kind of uh, texture. Let's check it out. So you can select from different uh, layers to be the Mirage layer, and they're all very textural, and it helps to kind of blend them in, and also they're assigned to the mod wheel, so I'm going to be using that on my MIDI keyboard. Um, it helps to kind of blend them in uh, and do a sort of motion with it as you're playing the sound, and it will really add some nice evolution to that sound like this. So using the mod wheel and controlling the Mirage layer just adds in an extra kind of sound design element to it. So we're going to, you know, kind of mess around with those as we're demoing the sound. So let's go through and check out some more of the pad sounds. And also uh, we'll look at the clusters and sequences as well after that. So that gives you an idea of some of the pads. Um, we're going to go to the clusters now. So everything is very atmospheric and deep blue. It, it really reminds you of either you know aquatic or maybe outer space type sounds. They're very atmospheric and beautiful. Um, and adding those bass layers as well as the mirage with the sound design makes it a bit more you know sci-fi sounding. Reminds me more of uh, sort of like an outer space Blade Runner sci-fi type movie. So let's go to the clusters now.
So that one added a nice little sequence uh, type sound there with the time machine when the mirage layer is blended in it adds that kind of sequence sounds you know almost like a clock ticking but it's tonal. So as you can hear the clusters are going to be sort of a chord already mapped there onto one key as opposed to the pads which you can make your own chords and chord progressions um, depending on which keys you hold down. They'll only play one note. Let's go to the sequences now. So very, very different. Of course, the, the other ones were uh, less motion focused, less on rhythmic stuff and more on melodic. Now, this is very rhythmic and melodic, and it's very, very cool sounding. So again, I'm going to continue to kind of scroll through the Mirage sounds and, and play those or blend them in as I'm playing the melodies up here. So just by holding a few keys there, we get this really, really nice rhythmic melody there. Um, so those were some of the sequences there. And then the basses only category is going to be only those lower notes on the very um, lowest keys of the MIDI controller, which were in the purple there. So that's a quick look at some of the sounds in it. It's very, very nice. I really, really liked this one. Um, and it definitely feels very deep blue either aquatic or kind of sci-fi outer space it's got some really cool atmospheric sounds in it so thank you guys for checking this one out with me i hope you enjoyed it let us know what you think and i will see you guys next time